Hello there everybody, Sam Strange here, welcome back to the railway and welcome to my Steam Gala. Hopefully this will be a fun video, I'm going to be running some passenger trains, I'm going to be doing some shunting and hopefully it will be a good time, so stick around, I hope you enjoy it. I'm hoping by the time this video goes out that the various heritage railways around the country will be back open for business and my message is very simply this, if you can go down and support them, if you can buy a ticket, go and spend some money with them somehow, even if it's just buying an ice cream from their gift shop, that will really help them out. They've had a hell of a year so far, business will be right down and their survival could very much depend on whether or not we support them from well for the rest of this season really. So if you love heritage railways as I do, do, do your best to support them and that's what I'm going to try and do today I'm going to recreate what some of those heritage railways do running passenger services for paying passengers I was also inspired a little bit by the Corris railway pack that I bought for train simulator I just love the whole idea of coupling up to carriages and taking them for passengers to ride so I'm going to be doing a little bit of that I've got a small passenger train and a large one to put together today so that they can run the passenger service and maybe the volunteers on my railway might put a good strain together for the guests to enjoy watching. So let's start with that. We've got the J36 parked in the shed. I'll tell you what she's going to be doing. So the railway volunteers have spent the morning firing her up. She's almost ready to go. In fact, the boiler pressure should be coming to fruition any time now. We should be able to hear it. Ah, yes, there's a noise. Uh, let's just check, shall we, that we have got some pressure there. Let's try the whistle. Oh yes, that sounded sound a little bit phlegmy, but I think it's ready to go. Anyway, so she's in the shed. Her passenger train is actually all the way over on the other side of the railway. As you can see, some LNER coaches there, little clerestories. Cute little coaches for a cute little loco. She's going to have to go and couple to those, and then we'll pull in at the station at some point to pick up some passengers and send them on the way. So with that then, the engineer's ready. He's giving me the thumbs up. Let's give this a little go. Bring the engine out of the shed and go and couple to the coaches. Nice and steady in the shed, of course. Ooh, that might be a bit fast. Careful now. Try and make this a little bit more realistic today, as far as my railway allows. There we go. And I thought we'd take the scenic route as opposed to the bookcase route, because otherwise you won't really see what's going on. So let's bring her to a stop there. That should be nice. And um, the signalman, <coughs> i.e. giant sausage finger, will come out of nowhere, change the points, and uh, then we can reverse. There we go. Yep, I think that's a safe speed for the main line now. Here we are, past the station. She'll be back here later on to pick up the passengers, but we need the coaches first, obviously. Here she comes. Such a, such a beautiful engine, this one. A beautiful creation. I just love the livery, it's totally unique as far as my collection is concerned. The lining on the black is lovely. Usually plain black locos tend to get red lining, but yellow is altogether different. And I think that's awesome. Alright, open these points. That was a bit dangerous, wasn't it? I'm not sure if I actually clipped them open. Yeah, I've seen them all right. And the team have very efficiently, really, set all of the other points so that we should go straight back towards the coaches now. So hopefully that will work out well. So I think we'll need to do a water stop before she goes anywhere with the passengers because she's actually done quite a long drive already. Okay, there we are. I think we are coupled, fingers crossed. Yeah, it looks all right to me. Obviously, this is just a siding where the coaches are stored, so we don't have any passengers yet. So, let's head over to the station over in the countryside on Gordons Hill and pick up the first passengers of the day. All right, here we go. Here we go. Nice little train. Thank you. 
Well, it's a lovely day for it anyway. Plenty of sun, nice weather, but there's a bit of a breeze which goes through the coaches, keep them a bit cool. Nobody likes dripping with sweat on the Heritage Railway. So this should be a good day, hopefully. Right, so I'm going to try and position the train if I can so that the tender is just beneath the water tower. And that way, oh, there we are, almost there. That way the passengers can board while we fill up with water. So there we go, all aboard passengers. Let's get that water in the tank. Yes, please then, Ernie, please don't spill any. We don't want this engine looking dirty and messy today. Not perfectly lined up, I think the coal's going to be getting wet, but that's okay. Yeah, don't, not too much Ernie, I did tell you that. Okay. Right, that's looking good. I think we're about ready to go. Oh. Sorry, I think there's a bit of an argument taking place here, and I think we're okay. All right, well, the passengers are ready. Maud is filled up with water. The fireman's ready for a busy day. Let's get started, shall we? There we go, and this service is going to be taking place on the middle line, so we're going to get the local over there. Maybe we can give it a bit more juice as well for this bit. We are limited to 30 miles an hour, of course, on this Heritage Railway, so we're sitting just comfortably below that, and uh, that should keep everything safe. Okay, over the express points then, this bit might be a little bit distressing to the passengers. There we go. And off they go on their scenic tour. Let's shut the points again. There they are. So I would say our work with this train is basically done. I think the engineer can take care of the, the rest of the service. We've still got a couple more trains to run today on the timetable. We've got the larger express passenger train that's going to run as well. So let's go and arrange that, shall we? Get that ready to go. So today's lovely express passenger locomotive is going to be the Castle Class. She's come all the way from, I don't know where I'm going with that. She's come from somewhere and she's obviously so big that she's got to sit on the turntable. We can't give her a shed or anything like that. As you can see though, a very, very elegant loco. Really looking forward to seeing this one run today. In anticipation of the big rush that usually comes at lunchtime, we've set up quite a big train of six coaches here and uh, the lovely castle here is going to have the pleasure of hauling it. So we're going to get it onto the turntable. The castle actually wants to face the other way in order to pull the train forwards today, which is fine, I think. So let's get that done and uh, hopefully the castle is ready. Hopefully the boiler pressure's up and ready to go. Let's get the turntable bridge facing the right direction. There we are, and obviously this turntable is very dodgy, so we're going to have to go real slow if possible. I'm not sure how accurate I'm going to be able to beat with this, so let's try. Yeah, that looks slow, that looks good enough. Steadily does it then. And then we'll turn her all the way around. I don't know if we've got the front bogey off or not there. Yes, I think so. Hmm. Well, ordinarily, I think something like that would put an end to a, a steam gala, wouldn't it? A derailment. But to date, we've got gigantic hands willing to lend a hand. So problem solved, I think. OK, let's get the loco spun all the way around then. And then we'll reverse her towards the coaches. There we are. I do apologise for the noise. Uh, the turntable is not the quietest and healthiest sounding machine I've ever owned, but still works amazingly. I never expected it to still be working all these years on. So while it does, I think we'll make the most of it. Okay, so we need to now wind the reversal all the way back because we need to go backwards now. And let's have a little whistle. Let's hear how that sounds. Ooh, very piercing. Right, reverse. Here we go. Nice and steady. go down a bit in speed. Seven miles an hour apparently, although it looks a bit slower than that to me. We are, well, I think we're off the turntable without incident now, which is nice. We'll speed up a little bit now. I don't think there's so much danger in the sidings. Well, there is a bit. There we go. Lovely. All right, nice and steadily over the points then, and that's it. 
and she can stop there, driver. That's fine. We'll get the sausage back, change the point. And there we are. And now it's going to be forwards into the coach sidings, and we'll do a little run around and get a couple to the front of the train. All right, off we go. Steady on. That was a bit extreme whistling there. Okay, off we go. Maybe a little bit slower than that driver through the sidings. If you could hear me, hello. Right, it shall be interesting to see if the logo can do this. We are going pretty slowly. Round the back of the coaches, first of all. Yeah, you see, slow and steady does seem to win the race with these. There we are. It's quite a nice sight, isn't it, that? Right, the front of the engine should poke out any second now. Here it comes. There we are, it's going very well actually. Quite pleased with this. No issues so far. Right, got to pull right forwards. Alright, anywhere there driver, that's fine. We'll change the point. And then we'll couple up to the very front of the train. Here we go. Right, reverse please. Steady. Steady. Although we haven't got any passengers yet, but these coaches have been faithfully restored by volunteers and we don't want to knacker them. There we are, that's it, that's it. Okay. Right. Well, let's go and grab the passengers then. It should be a straight road, more or less, straight to the passenger station. So let's go and get them and hopefully they'll really enjoy seeing this beautiful Castle Class Passenger Express. Here we go. Take it steady while we're still in the sidings. And we'll see four of these coaches pass muster on their on their way forth. Oop. Some of the coaches did not just come uncoupled and got left behind. That did not happen. Just thought you'd like to know what isn't happening. No, no, it hasn't happened again. Ah. It's boiling this, coaches. <laughs> it's okay, no. That didn't happen. Good afternoon, passengers. We do realise that the station platform here at Toy Town is ridiculously small, so we do ask that the more able-bodied among you will uh, disperse onto the coaches which are not lined up with the station platform in order that we can fill the train properly. OK. All right, folks. Well, that is job done. I think the passengers are getting on. I think they're quite excited by the sight of the castle class there. So we'll just give them a second to get on board. Think that's long enough? What do you reckon? Nobody seems to be doing very much. Um, all right, I think imagination has to take over for this part. Anyway, I think the castle's ready. Let's get started. Okay, and we'll go a bit faster. We'll go up to the speed limit of about 30, or what the loco considers to be 30. Let's see how quick that looks. All right, passengers, have a nice time. What do you reckon? Does that look like 30 to you? Yeah, it's maybe a little more. I'm not very good at gauging these things. It's certainly not egregious though, is it? I don't think. And these are pretty nice coaches too. And this castle is definitely one of my best TTS sound locos. The sound is very quiet, uh, which is a bit more subtle, but it's also less distorted on those speakers, which makes it sound better. So, yeah, it's a really good sounding loco, that one. Okay, so next up I've got a little bit of a challenge. We've got the J11 in the siding there and she's going to do a bit of a goods service for us just to demonstrate a bit of freight work, I suppose, for the guests. And what I'm going to try and do is get her out of the sidings and towards the sidings behind the factory where the goods are. As you can see, the volunteers have set up some freight for us there. And she's going to try and do that while the castle class remains in motion. So she's going to have to come out of these points just after the castle class has come past. I don't know whether this would ever be allowed in real life, but in my railway it will be. It's going to come out of those points and quickly reverse back, uh, sort of just behind the castle class and into those sidings behind the factory. So we'll just wait for the coaches to clear out the way and they will reveal the actual J11 and not the Johnson 3F, which I thought was the J11 ready. There we go. So let's pull her forwards then and get the loco into the right position, ready to wait for the castle. Okay. 
Oh my word, that's supposed to be 13 miles an hour. Okay, let's bring this loco to a stop just behind the points then. That's it. Oh, and shut the points. Oh, that nearly went all badly wrong. So now we just wait for the castle class to come past. And she's about to. Here she comes. Yeah, that was nearly quite the accident actually, wasn't it? <laughs> Maybe I can see why they don't do this sort of thing in real life. At least not at such short notice. Okay, and now we can open up the points again and bring the loco forwards. There we go. Okay, stop, shut the points, and this is going to be a bit of a free camera situation because I've got to do this quite quickly. Now let's back her up. There we are. So now we have the GL J11 chasing the castle at a respectful distance. Although, again, in real life, I don't imagine that distance would be considered that respectful. And uh, let's get her into that siding and coupled to the wagon, shall we? Okay, wait for the coaches to budge, and then we'll open the points. There we go. There we are. Beautiful. Bring that to a stop. Now, due to the questionable nature of the backman decoder in that loco, I don't know how this is going to work, because it can't go slow, and it doesn't stop when I tell it to. But hopefully we have now coupled. Let's see. Forwards we go. Okay, yeah, that worked. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Why does it stop when I tell it to? Stop. The castle's coming. <laughs> Please stop. This Railmaster app is terrible, folks, on the iPad. You press the stop button and it sort of selects the text of the stop button. All right, reverse, shouldn't. Please hurry, the castle's coming. Oh my word, this is close. All right, back into the siding. And please stop this time, J11. Okay, 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 there we go. Shut the points and, oof, man, that was close. Okay, so the next aim once these coaches have gone is to get the J11 back out of this siding again and we'll again follow the train and get it back into the other sidings. So open the points, set the direction, and let's go for a shunt. There we go. Again, why that 10 mile an hour speed is so fast on that Backman decoder, I don't know. Okay, back it up. And again, we will follow the castle. There it goes, that's not bad. It's very dodgy this, but quite exciting, as you might be able to tell. Okay, open this set of points. There we go, and we can stop the J11. There we go. Man, I enjoyed that. That worked incredibly well. So we managed to do that little operation without interrupting the Castle Class service, which is great. And, uh, you know, when, my, when TARDIS Rescue comes over and I had uh, half-baked Hex 8, come over. Now that's the kind of thing that we did. It's a lot of fun to do this with lots of people on the DCC system. Anyway, that is my Steam Gala finished. I hope you enjoyed that. We've got two nice passenger trains running. Uh, the passengers should be happy now that everything's back in business. And we've even done a little bit of a freight operation there just to give the guests something else to look at while they're not on the trains. So that is a lot of fun. I hope you like that. Do something like this for your own channel to help promote the Heritage Railways, you know. Just put a little message in, say, go support them. The more people that do, the better chance they have of pulling through this terrible year and still being in business at the end of it. So thank you for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed that. It's a bit of something different. If you liked this video format, do let me know and I will do more of it for sure because I certainly have enjoyed it. Equally, if you'd rather I just stuck with reviews, if you find those more interesting, that's absolutely fine as well. I can stick with those. So do let me know down in the comments. For now, though, once again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, everybody. And visit those Heritage Railways because they need you.